Hello guys, it's Striker man. Welcome back to another post-match reaction, man. So we're talking about your guy versus Japan in the 2019 uh, Copa America, man, and uh, Group C. Uh, this game ended in a 2-2 draw, man. Great game, man. Probably one of the best games of the tour, man. It was back and forth. And uh, in my personal opinion, man, I thought your guy was going to win this game easily after uh, they beat Ecuador 4-0, uh, although Ecuador... Um, one of Ecuador play picked up a red card and pretty much beat a 10 10 man Ecuadorian team 4-0 uh, Japan coming to this game after losing a uh, 4-0 against Chile in the opening game and I think Ecuador is a way um, I think your guys are way better team than uh, Chile right now man, but um, Yeah, man uh, Japan did their thing bro went up um, was leading the game twice but um, your guy came back and tied it up, man. So great game overall, man. Both team went back and forth. Uh, you could say that uh, your guy was a better team overall. They dominated the game, man. But Japan took those chances and uh, really, really took those chances and scored those chances, man. He had like three. Sh they had three shots on target and two goals out of those three shots, man. So it was very, very. Um, I want to say lucky that was very very clinical yeah that's what I'm looking for very clinical man but you're a guy more than likely I, th I still think you're a guy gonna to top this group and uh, they got four points right now from two games and uh, they play Chile next man Chile looking very good right now man beating Japan for zero the Japan that whole year guy man but football I think will happen so they're gonna play uh, Chile gonna play uh, Ecuador next I believe that should be a win for um for Chile Chile gonna probably get six points in the, when, when they play them tomorrow I believe and uh yeah so it's ecuador versus chile for the number one spot uh japan still have a chance of making it to the next round man because they could finish even second or third you never know uh depends on um how the game go versus um ecuador when they play ecuador next man but uh more than likely i think they're gonna finish third um if ecuador will get a win versus chile and get a win versus uh japan they might finish second or first you never know man it could go either way right now it's just, it's crazy but good win overall uh that's that first goal man the first goal for um for uh your guy man, it was a penalty i don't think it was a penalty man me personally i don't think it was a penalty i think the 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 went to vr i think the vr got it wrong this time because pretty much cavani was shooting for the ball while the uh japanese player was trying to black the ball with his foot man so cavani pretty much kicked kicked into he kicked into the japanese uh the japanese defender's leg man uh foot man so uh kicked it into his cleeks man his boots i don't think that's a penalty man i think that's cavani's fault i don't think the player intentionally kicked him and so um yeah man i think that's definitely was not a penalty referee awarded a penalty anyway man but other than that man i think it was a good game and both team really did their thing and uh uh two two draw probably a fair result in the hand man but uh, shout out to both team man. Ecuador showed that um, your guys showed that they're a fighter man. They, they they'll come back no matter what. They never give up man. They keep fighting to the end man. Uh, man of the match is clearly has to be my boy Miyoshi man. Miyoshi he did very well. It, it was between Miyoshi, uh, Bentacore had a very good game. Who else had a very good game? Suarez had a very good game and uh, my boy uh jamirez man who scored an equalizer man jamirez scored an equalizer good equalizer by him yeah jamirez has been doing very well for your guy for your guy though man scoring a lot of goals in important games even for atletico madrid man this guy is very underrated in my opinion man he's a beast he's a monster probably one of the best um attacking defender and one of the best defender out there man like in my opinion is very good man whenever i see this guy plays man he played very very good i remember what he did versus juventus man destroyed him Gordon had a very good game too, man. So the first goal came in the 25th minute, man. 25th, 26th minute with uh, my boy uh, Miyoshi scoring the opening goal, man. I think they should have did better um, with closing him down. And uh, assisted by, I want to say, Shiba, uh, Shibasaki. Assisted him, passed the ball uh, to him um, inside inside the box. And he was at a tight angle. I don't know how he scored that, man. I think they probably should have closed on better. And the goalkeeper should have done better, man. Um, Muslera, man. What's his name? Muslera? He was horrible, bro. Like, this guy always choke. He always makes some mistake in in the goal for your guy, man. I think he's a quality goalkeeper. But when it comes to, like, these tournaments, he always makes mistakes. You remember him in the World Cup versus France, bro? He was like that again today, bro. Uh, Muslera... Yeah, Mosleri, right? That's that's what I believe his name is, man. Poor overall, man. Poor overall. But yeah, man. Uh, Koji Miyoshi were able to score the opening goal. I, I I don't know how he scored that, but a good goal by him, assisted by my boy Shibasaki. And uh, yeah, in the third, like seven minutes later on, man, it was um, Cavani incident, man. Cavani 
Um, Cavani really worked for that penalty, man. Cavani went down, he cried, he protested, he did everything. And eventually the referee gave, gave in and uh, awarded the, the, the penalty, man. Gave uh, you the, the card, man. I don't think it was a penalty, in my opinion. I think it was Cavani that pretty much kicked his... Um, kicked his foot into um into yoda um freaking uh boots man so i don't think that was a penalty but referee awarded a penalty i'm surprised cavani didn't take the penalty instead Luis suarez took the penalty and uh great penalty by him uh both Luis suarez and uh, um cavani hit the post man so cavani hit the post i believe like in the right after they scored that goal in the 34 minutes or 35th minute you were able to hit the post man with a crazy curler man hit the crossbar between the crossbar and the post the four corner that goal would have been magnificent that goal would have been a uh, goal of the freaking tournament if he had scored that but great ball hitting the post man so yo your guy was very unlucky man he cut his score four goals and uh yeah man hit the post in like the 35th minute 34 minute and uh your guy was just putting on a pressure man and uh uh japan was just defending very well man they pretty much they did a very good job defending well uh their goalkeeper i want to say his name is uh kawashima man kawashima he's been doing a very good job man especially in the work last year world cup he was phenomenal and this time he was he was very good man probably one of their best play out there today in my opinion man one of their best play out there today um did fantastically well for um for japan and uh yeah man stop stopping them from scoring and winning this game but in the second half, man, it was my boy Koji Miyoshi starting the game and scoring the, the 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 leading goal in the in the 59 minute to put up Japan up 2-1 again and uh, shot by one of the Japanese uh, Japanese attacking players. I forgot who it was. I'm not sure if it was Okazaki or uh, Abe Should I goal and the goalkeeper man uh, Moslera. Oh my God, this guy just made mistakes. Yeah, mistakes after mistakes. So pretty much, man, instead of like pretty much catching the ball or pretty much hitting the ball to the side or to one of the his left side or right side, he pretty much pushed it right in front of my boy Koji Yoshima Yoshi, uh, my sorry Koji Mayoshi, man, and Mayoshi just tap it in, bro, right to Mayoshi. Mayoshi, only thing I do is just tap it into goal, and he did that and scored an opening goal and uh score a second goal of the game the second goal for japan and japan was up 2-1 in the sixth in, in the first hour man and uh um it, within six seven minutes man it was my boy uh jimirez man scoring the equalizer shout out to my boy ladero play for the big bad seattle sounders that's my mls team right there man ladero has been fantastic for um he has been fantastic for your guys so far this tour man go, getting a goal and assist in the first game and now assisting a vital goal in that corner kick in the uh 66 minutes man and uh great corner kick by him and uh jimmy is pretty much on on mark man just r rose up and just headed home and nothing that um kawashima could done to save it man it was 2-2 uh, and uh i believe uh suarez hit the post like in the 80 plus minute like in the 78 minute 79 minute and uh um you guys really try to make something happen but nothing really ha could happen for them man. it's just crazy but good victory for i mean good draw overall with japan i think you should have won this game uh your guy probably unlucky because they hit the post and crossbar like twice very unlucky overall and kawashima had probably the game of his life game of his life man he came out so multiple save um i was very disappointed in uh Laksap, man the, the the left back yo he was very good in the 2018 world cup for your guy he was very poor overall in this game defensively there was very good um overall uh most larry probably was on the worst play out there today man he was freaking poor man uh ladero did very well especially with that assist bentacore was fantastic bro pretty much dominate the midfield um very good passes creative defensively very good he was a sound overall man shout out to my boy luca torero played very well too man uh what's his name uh nendez or yeah nandez he was very poor overall on the on the right side very very poor game by him eventually gets substituted off uh very very poor game by him man cavani up top man um I, he, he got that penalty that really helped them get back into the game but i don't think it was a penalty but he subbed it very well and vihar helped out too suarez scoring that penalty to equalize it and hit in the post and he was just vital overall man shots on shots on target and goal man and the uh the goalkeeper for japan just kept them out um okazaki up top was very poor same with i man um japan the, the players that really shine for japan was their goalkeeper and their uh, midfield man especially the guys on the right side for them 
and uh, two guys up top, man, Abe and Okazaki. I'm not sure if they wasn't get enough like support, man, but it was just poor overall, man. And uh, your guy defense was just too much for them to cope with, and they had a poor game overall. Uh, defense struggle really, man. It struggle really. Only player that really stand up for me was um, Awata on the right side. He was he was pretty much average, but he didn't really make too much of. Uh, it didn't it didn't have a bad game. They have a good game overall. He was just average. Um, Atukuna. Aitakuna or Aitakura, that's I believe his name. He was solid in midfield. Shibasa, Shibak, uh, what's his name? Shibasaki, man, was very good with the assist. And um, Yoshi on the right side was fantastic, man. Two great goals by him. Man of the match for me. Fantastic play, man. Um, Araka, um, Arasketa, Arasketa came on. Um, he did very good when he came on. Pretty much had an all right game. Valverde and Gonzalez came on. Really didn't make a too much impact on the game, man. But 2 2 draw. Stat wise, um, possession wise, man, uh, your guy dominated game with 58% uh, possession while Japan had 42% um, uh, ball possession. And shots in total, Japan, uh, um, your guy had 29 shots, man. 29 shots in total, bro. Like, they, they was just crazy. I told you, it was like a shooting range, bro. The way they were shooting, shooting, shooting. Uh, Su uh, Suarez and Cafani is the main ones that was taking all them, all those crazy shots, man. So, great game by. Uh, both of those uh, uh, by both of those guys and your guy in, in general man a lot of shots 29 shots in total Japan only had uh, 12 shots shots in total uh, shots on target um, your guy had uh, 10 shots on target man so they definitely gotta be more clinical man um, 30 almost 30 shots man only only one third of that was on target man they definitely gotta put more on target really uh, only 10 shots on target out of like 29 shots that's not good in, in my opinion while Japan only had 3 shots out of 12 shots man Three shots on target, scoring two of those, man. So that's not really bad in my opinion, man. But uh, shout out to both teams, man. And uh, so Group C is looking like this, man. Your guy uh, from two games, man. Two, one win and one draw. So they got four points. Uh, Chile is in uh, second in second place with uh, with a game in hand from one game with three points. Japan only have one point from two games, losing the first game and drawing this game. While your guy. Uh, sorry, by while Ecuador is in uh, last place, um, playing only one game so far, and and losing that game, man. So um, it should be a very in very interested Group C, man. But let me know how far you think Japan will go. Let me know how far you guys go. Your guy is still one of my favorite to win it, man. So definitely like, definitely subscribe, and with that, you boys out of here.